Hey guys, it's Isaac. Today I'm working on my 1975 Mercedes-Benz 240D. Ain't she a beaut? Um, not a whole lot that needs to be done to it, uh, but there is a... What I've got to do today is fix the window regulator on the passenger side. Now what I... <laughs> what happened was uh, I had a passenger in the car the other day and they rolled down the window and then all of a sudden the the handle just started freewheeling and nothing nothing happened so i don't know what's on the inside of this door but we're going to find out because we're going to take this door panel off carefully and we are going to see what's wrong because i've got to have a window in this thing and once i figure it out then i'll uh, go on to lunch and and uh, search for parts for this door. I uh, hadn't really looked through it. I've got, let's see, oh that's nothing. That, this was in the door panel. Oh, there, there's, what is this? Do not tow vehicle without the something being disconnected or connected I don't know what that is oh gosh it's a shame that this has like been rained on the woman that wrote this was the original owner of this car and she I think she was born in 1916 so that would have made her Six, 106 years old so yeah original owner of the car uh, amazing story I, I know I've said it before uh, these are some sort of rubber rubber grommet uh, there's a, a rubber grommet here oh. oh I know what these are that's this piece right here that's missing Oh, maybe I'll go ahead and install that today too. Some little tissues. And I know I'm getting sidetracked. I'll get to the story in a second. So the original owner of this car, uh, he was a scientist that worked for DuPont and in the during World War II, he was recruited by the government for their project that was called the Manhattan Project, but they called it the Man, uh, Manhattan District or something like that. So he was one of the scientists that helped make the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. So, uh, so this car has just some fascinating tales. But right now, let's uh, go ahead and see about taking this door panel apart so I can figure out what's going on. And it looks like two Phillips screws under here. Two Phillips screws here. There's going to be a clip right there and uh, all I gotta do is take this off see how easy that is and I'm thinking that there's gonna be a screw behind here so let me go get a little flathead screwdriver and a medium-sized Phillips screwdriver all right so we got a Phillips screw under here I bet you this door panel's never been off this car. I'm done. We have this. Ah, pretty tight.
newer Mercedes that this little piece pops out and I believe that's going to be the case here because it looks like it's popping out look at that I'm so right all right right now this thing doesn't want to come off there we go oh that screw was loose have these two screws here Let's come on come on this right here and on this door panel there should be clips on while other Mercedes you'd lift up on the door panel. I hope I'm not like missing out on a piece under here. Sometimes you can pop this loose and there will be a uh, screw under there. But I'm not sure that, oh, there it is. This is not being easy. I'm trying to be careful with the the vinyl and stuff. Marvelous. like it's the window regulator itself that is bad and I imagine finding parts for this car is going to be pretty rough I don't know if you can see it but right on the all right you might be able to see it the arm has broken off of that regulator piece so and it looks like it's monkey metal so it's not like it's going to go back together mm -hmm. it's the back of this spring it's the back of this spring piece right here so this is supposed to rotate and help with the regulator and it's broken off so fun fun let's go check out the parts car and see if it's got a working part let's hope so so as I was driving down the road to go to my parts car I just so happened to call the old boss man and I was like the window regulator on the car busted 
and he was like well mercedes ought to still sell those and i was like what <laughs> so so i called uh i told him to look it up and uh he said they got it in stock for like 75 bucks i think i'm gonna go with the new one so i'm heading over to his place right now back to the shop and we're gonna look at it on the computer and see about ordering if it's the right one ordering just a brand new one that way i don't have to take the window regulator out of the parts car and uh you know i just one i don't want to deal with the parts car it's probably got wasps all in it right now and and two if i take the window regulator out you know the window is going to be flopping down and stuff which i guess i could tape it up or wedge it up or whatever but it's just 74 75 bucks for a window regulator brand new i'm gonna do it passenger side yeah. they only have the left regulator are you serious yeah. all right so i just left the shop and i found out that the parts car that i've got the window regulator is different in that so i actually had russell uh, pull up like the window regulators for that model car and found out that I, I didn't think about it but this Mercedes that I'm driving the 75 is a W115 chassis my parts car is a W123 chassis uh, which to a lot of people that doesn't know what are you talking about it's just it's the it's the body and it's it's just way different like window regulators are different everything's different so what am i going to do now i think i'm going to pull the window regulator off and uh i'm going to try to modify the part that is busted and with with something i can i can you know use so anyhow heading back to the shop it's unfortunately sprinkling. I wasn't counting on it raining today. And so my car is getting rained on, which is the first time it's been wet in a little bit more than two years. So I'm feeling a little bad right now. Anyhow, but the shop is only half a mile away. So I'm almost there. All right, back at the shop. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and just take out these four 10 millimeter screws and I should be able to get that regulator out. I think I'm gonna have to put the window up though to try to fish her out of here. So let's just take those bolts out and see what happens. I'm gonna try to remove this spring no problem and I'm gonna put it right down on the chair and it's this piece right here that I'm having the problem with so I'm gonna go get a hammer I'm gonna hammer this into place so let's do this alrighty see if we can get this back into place Just 
a little whack and there it goes yeah I'm not sure this is gonna work call it there because you know too much hammering and it's just going to come all to pieces so let's get the spring back on and installed in the car yeah I'm a popular guy I don't know if y'all know how much I absolutely love this car. You know, it's not just the Mercedes part of it. So it's not just because of it being a Mercedes or the shape that it's in. It's It's got, uh, you know, a personal attachment. The uh, elderly lady I took care of, this was her car. And she was the original owner, her and her husband. Again, I've said before, he was a scientist for DuPont. Now, if I was in a, a movie with a murderer after me, I'd be totally screwed. That's how long it takes to crank up this car. Uh, so anyhow, yeah, I have an emotional attachment to this car because the elderly lady I took care of I would take her for a drive in this car take her to the grocery store do some shopping or uh, just out to eat she loved Hardee's she loved Hardee's Bojangles too usually Hardee's
Hardy's for breakfast and Bojangles for lunch. I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for watching.